Harmony One's massive breakout continues to be on fire. And at the time of this recording, Harmony One is holding above the 20-day MA here on the one-hour chart, which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. And the next key area of resistance that we need to see a break above lies above the 0 0.015 dollars and a break above that with a successful retest then i will continue expecting even higher prices and on today's video i will be discussing my breakout target areas and also give you a negative structure that is playing out here on the harmony one chart and before i do so remember that you can also take trades on bybit which is giving you up to 20 dollars in sign up bonuses and you can also earn up to $30,000 in deposit bonuses. So check out the link that I have down in the description box. And starting the video with a short recap of what has been happening since the 5th of July, when we saw this massive breakdown move, we saw Harmony 1 give us a very nice bounce to the upside, where we first picked in a 1-2 setup. And after we completed that 1-2 setup, we continued to obey the ADO 12 structures, where we first picked in this ADO 12 count 1, in a move that gave us a high above the 0 0.15. The 0 0.01599. And after making that high, we started a bit of a corrective structure, which started after we saw a break out of this price channel that we had been trading within to the lower side in a move that has now given us a low below the 0 0.01285. And there are high chances that we now have a low in place in this ADO 12 count too. And in the next coming hours, we can easily see the start of an impulsive wave in this ADO 12 count 3, then expect a wave 4, and then a wave 5. And to just show you that the second wave right here has done the minimum that we expect a second wave to do, by connecting the Fibonacci from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that ADO 12 count 1, I get a minimum pullback target area for the second wave, between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618, which perfectly lies between the 0 0.01379 and the 0 0.01327, which is an area that we have now fully maximized. And after fully maximizing that target area, we saw a bit of a breakdown move, but the FIB level 0 0.78 continued to hold. And you can all see that we are now seeing a reaction to this target area, which is now giving us a very nice bounce to the upside in what could be the start of an impulsive wave in this ADO 12 count 3, whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that ADO 12 count 1, then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the FIB level 1.618, which perfectly lies above the 0 0.02, and that is my next target area in that ADO 12 count 3. And once we have a high in that ADO 12 count 3, we can expect a wave 4 and then a wave 5. And before all that plays out, there are a number of things that we first need to see here on the short term. And the first thing that we need to see is a break above resistance at the 0 0.015. So we need to break above that with a successful retest, continue holding above the 0 0.015. And as long as that key area of support is holding, then we can easily see another bounce to, to the 0 0.01651, which is the next key area of resistance. And a break above those significant key areas of resistances, then we can easily hit the 0 0.02 in the next coming hours or maybe days. So that is the price action that I'm expecting here on the Harmony 1 chart for the next coming hours. And in case of any sudden pullbacks, then we need to pay attention to this retarget area over here, which perfectly lies between the 0. Point which perfectly lies between the 0 0.0138 and the 0 0.01254 because as long as we are holding within this area there are high chances that we can get another bounce back and fully hit our minimum target areas in that ADO 12 count 3. So that's all for this video and I hope to catch you on the next one.